top story tonight, fentanyl. It's considered one of the deadliest drugs by the Drug Enforcement Administration. And this year, agents seized a record amount. Listen to this. 379 million deadly doses of the highly addictive opioid were seized by the DEA nationwide in 2022. And in the Louisville Division, which covers Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia, drug agents seized 184,000 fentanyl lace pills and 316 pounds of fentanyl powder. That's more than double what they collected just the year before. So what's leading to this uptick, you may be asking? Well, more and more, the drug is used to lace fake prescription pills that look identical to real medications you can pick up at pharmacies. Plus, they are more lethal than ever. The DEA says most of it was mass-produced at secret factories in Mexico and trafficked by drug cartels. You know, the Mexican cartels have moved from the sort of drugs that we saw when I first uh, became an agent, which would predominantly have been marijuana and cocaine. Uh, they moved into heroin, and now in the last uh, few years, they have focused a lot of their efforts on, on fentanyl. It is easy for them to make, it is easy for them to ship, uh, and it has flooded uh, American streets. And Special Agent Todd Scott, who you just heard from, says that the scope of drug trafficking has also changed a bit since social media is such a huge part of our lives. Drugs nowadays come directly, you know, the, the pipeline is, is, you know, from the cartels and the border. But reality, the pipeline is your cell phone, it's the computer, it's things like that. You know, we're seeing a lot of our young adults who, uh, via social media and Internet and dark web and things like that, you know, they can order uh, these potentially fatal pills uh, right to their home. This trend is also being seen here in Knoxville with an increase in the amount of fentanyl brought into the city and an increase in overdoses in recent years. WAT6 on your side reporter Dominic Webster spoke to recovery experts about how this issue is impacting our community. The fentanyl crisis here in Knoxville did not start all that long ago, but is creating massive problems for the community. We started seeing it here in Knox County in 2016. Um, and unfortunately, the supply has increased over the last couple of years. Um, it's pretty much being laced in any street drug that's out there right now and causing a lot of our overdose deaths. The biggest issue with fentanyl as a whole is its lethality, which is why it is number one in overdose-related deaths here in Knoxville. The number one analog found since 2016. So it's not necessarily a new problem here, but unfortunately it's just getting more and more uh, prevalent um, and causing even a greater number of overdose deaths than what we've seen in previous years. According to a DEA press release, fentanyl is 50 times more powerful than heroin and that just two grams of the drug could be potentially lethal. With its high lethality and growing presence in Knoxville, Metro Drug is growing its effort to prevent overdoses from happening. We're increasing our efforts to get um, naloxone out there for individuals who are high risk so that hopefully we can save lives. Metro Drug is continuing to do their best to prevent people from becoming addicted to drugs, especially for young people. Making sure that young people understand what's out there and how dangerous it could be and that it could get a fake pill um, and not a real pill and it could be fentanyl. And so again, those messages are extremely important, um, but then also trying to get people who are in active addiction to understand how dangerous it is right now. Karen is urging those that need treatment to search it out as soon as they can to hopefully save their life. Reporting in Knoxville, Dominic Webster, WATE 6, on your side. Metro Drug Coalition's Gateway Center is open Monday through Friday, offering many additional recovery services. And if you or someone you love needs help, you can call the number on your screen, 865-588-5550.